now I said put your hands together for the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. But in this over the next few minutes we'll be praying and this will be our custom that every first Sunday of the month we'll come together as a church and pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. When you understand what is happening in our time and generation, you know you need to intensify prayer more than ever before. Amen. Amen. I will be looking at three scriptures this morning to pray. I will try to do this quickly because of our time. The book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, we are very familiar with this story. 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Jabez prayed about five prayer points. And at the end, it was all answered, all the prayer points were answered with one sentence. Amen, somebody. Amen. When you look at the book of 1 Chronicles and you start reading from chapter 1, you discover so many names were mentioned, but nothing good was written or said about those names until Jabez got to a point and said, you know what, I've got to call upon the God of Israel. God who changes status, God who changes positions, God who can do and undo, that is that God that you and I serve. Uh, so we'll be praying from the book of uh, First Chronicles chapter 4, and uh, trust God that the Lord will lead us. And uh, Jeremiah chapter 14 from verse, verse 21, Jeremiah 14, 21. He says, do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not thy covenant with us. Break not thy covenant with us. God is the God of covenant. And God always keeps his own part of the covenant. And the children of Israel got to a point here and they cried out to God and said, Oh God, do not disgrace us. Uh, people of the world are watching and they are looking, ready to, to, to mock us. I said, do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. You and I, we are the throne of God's glory. He said, remember, break not thy covenant with us. So we'll be praying and uh, the last scripture uh, from the book of 1 Corinthians, we'll also be praying on that. I want us to stand up and just pray as much as possible. I'll try to do this very quickly. Amen. But I just want to encourage you to pray. I will encourage you to pray. The Bible says in the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, we pray in committing the month of February to God's hand. The Bible says that it was more honorable. Verse 9 was an answer to verse 10. Amen. Verse 9 was an answer to verse 10. It was after God granted his prayer that he became more honorable. Amen, somebody. Amen. So the Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brother and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. Somebody say, God of Israel. Amen. The Bible says Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O thou. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. Open your mouth and say, Father, I thank you for your blessings that have been following me since I was inside the womb of my mother till this very moment. Open your mouth and begin to bless God. The blessings of God make which and add no sorrow to it. Bless God and say, Father, I thank you for your blessings upon me. I thank you for the hands of your blessing. I thank you for your covenant of blessing. I thank you for your breath of blessing. I thank you for leading me to the path of blessing. I thank you for guiding me in the path of blessing. I thank you for releasing your blessings upon me. I give you praise and I give you glory this morning. I say be thy exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. Open your mouth and begin to thank God and say, Father, I thank you for bringing me into the month of February. I thank you for sparing my life. I thank you for preserving my life, even to see the beginning of a new month. A lot of things have happened, coronavirus killing left and right, but God has kept you and I thus far. 
Many have died from accidents. Many have died of sicknesses and diseases. But God in his infinite mercy has brought you an eye into the month of February. Bless the name of the Lord and begin to exalt the name of the Lord and say, Father, I thank you. God did not only pick you, God brought your entire family. God brought your children, God brought your husband, God brought your wife, God brought your parents, God brought your siblings, God brought all your family members to see the beginning of a new month. Bless the name of the Lord and exalt his name this morning. Thank you, Father. And I want to ask God and say, Father, forgive me any way that I've sinned against you that can hinder my prayer this morning. Lord, let your blood speak and avail for me. Let your blood speak and avail for my family. Open your mouth and begin to thank. Open your mouth and begin to acknowledge your sins. And say, Father, this morning I acknowledge my sins before you. I am a sinner. I'm not worthy to stand before you. I'm not worthy to even approach your presence. In the place of prayer, but through the precious blood of your son this morning, I come before you in the place of prayer. I ask so oh God that your blood will speak and avail for me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. The Bible says, and his mother called his name Jabez because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that will bless me indeed. I want to ask God and say, Father, in this month of February, bless me indeed. There are different level of blessing. Is a thing for you to be blessed. Is another thing for you to be blessed indeed. I want to ask God and say, Father, in this month of February,
in this month of February, let your hand be upon me for good. In the name of Jesus, when the hands of God rest upon you for good, you will enjoy good. When the hand of God rest upon you for good, the king will hearken to your voice. You will be favored above your contemporaries. As God has said, Father, in this month of February, let your hand rest upon me for good. Let your hand rest upon me for good. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I need your good hand upon my life. I need your good hand upon my family. I need your good hand upon my career. I need your good hand upon my heart. I need your good hand upon my going on. I need your good hand upon my coming in. My Father, my God, we pray this morning that you will open your hands towards us and fill us with good. Open your hands towards us and fill us with good. Open your hands towards us and fill us with good. And the king had kingdom to Ezra's voice according to the good hand of God upon his life. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, the men shall hear our voice. My Father, my God, King shall listen to our voice in the name of Jesus according to the good hands of God upon us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. And he said that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. Thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. That thou would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. I want us to look at this scripture. I pray this prayer plan with the intercessors this morning. As I walked into the church, it was so heavy in my spirit for us to pray this prayer point. And I want to encourage us to please pray fervently. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. When you start reading from verse 54 to verse 56 or to verse 57. 54 to 56. But so when, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have shall have put on immortality then it shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory and there was a competition a fight but they, they find themselves in a boxing ring oh death a challenge where is thy sting oh great where is thy victory the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. When you look at what is happening since the beginning of this year, many have died, and I feel so strong there is a demon of death operating. That's a church we need to arrest and we need to put a demarcation and say you cannot come nearer. The children of Israel, when the land of Goshen, a firstborn was dying left and right in the land of Egypt, but because they were under the covenant of Goshen, God kept them from whatever was happening in Egypt. Amen, somebody. Amen. And therefore, this morning we're going to pray and ask God. The Bible says we have our victory in the name of Jesus. I believe there is a demon assigned called demon of death. And demon of death operates through different spirits. Using accident as a spirit. Using sickness as a spirit. Using, using suicide as a spirit. Depression is a spirit, and all kinds of spirit that works with the spirit of with the with the demon of death to kill people at their prime and to waste life and waste talent and waste gift. Therefore, this morning I want us to rise up and I want us to cry out to God. The Bible says, Oh grave, where is thy sting? The grave, where is your victory? He said, but we have victory through the name of Jesus. I want us to declare this morning. And I want you to begin to visualize with your spiritual eyes. And say, oh, you spirit of grave. Oh, oh you spirit of death. You have no power and authority to come near my territory. We mark the territory of Dunamis Life Chapel. 
you may kill left and right, but you cannot come near our territory. The covenant of God for us says, with long life will I satisfy you. With long life will I satisfy you. And that is the covenant of God with us. That is the word of God for us. Therefore, you spirit of death, therefore, you demon of death, we come against you this morning, against our men, against our women, against our children, against our leaders. We come against you. Whether you want to use sickness to come in, we say no way. Whether you want to use accident to come in, we say no way. Whether you want to use suicide to come in, we say no way. Whether you want to use depression to come in, we say no way. In any form, in any shape, that you want to come in to strike, we declare, declare this morning, the spirit of death, the demon of death, and the agents that work with the spirit, with the demon of death, we arrest you this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. For our victory is in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Our victory is in the name of Jesus. And by that name Jesus that is above all other names. By that name Jesus that is above all other names. We arrest you this morning. We say you have no power. You have no authority. You have no audacity to come near what dwelling in the name of Jesus. And we declare this morning. We are more than the conqueror. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy betray? But thanks be to God. At the end, they say, But thanks be to God. But thanks be to God, which has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Victory over grave and victory over death. And that was why Gabe said, I don't want to die at my prime. And he said that the Lord will do what? Keep him from evil. The Lord will keep him from evil. Verse and God granted him that which he requested. And the Lord granted him. And we looked at that book of Jeremiah that we read earlier. He said, God will not what? will not break his covenant. Amen, somebody. Amen. When God does not break his covenant, it means God will not put it to shame. That's what he said in that scripture. If, if the covenant is broken, then we experience shame. But if the covenant is kept, then shame will be shamed. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 That's Amen. Pastor Luz's life with you. Shame will be shamed. Come on, up, just, just bless the name of the Lord and say, Father, I thank you that I, th I thank you that I have the name of Jesus. The, 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 the name of Jesus is a weapon that sickness, great death cannot challenge. He said, But thanks be to God. 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 I thank you. Even as you granted the prayer of Jabez, I thank you because of our prayers have been granted. I thank you because we have victory in the name of Jesus. I thank you because we have victory over grave. We have victory over death. We have victory over untimely death. We have victory over sickness. We have victory over accident. We have victory over suicide. We have victory over depression. We have victory over disappointment. We have victory, oh God of Peter, in the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God for the victory that we have in the name of Jesus. For none shall die. We shall live to declare the good words of God and the Lord shall satisfy us with long life. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory. Come on, begin to put your hands together for Jesus. Begin to put your hands together for Jesus. He's taking the offering place. Put your hands together for Jesus.